My name is uh, Jose Luis Fernandez Pacheco, and I'm, I'm a professor at the University of Madrid and researcher uh, and social worker and sociologist. And, uh, and what, I, what I, we, we brought here is this uh, assessment case uh, that uh, put into relation, as Franco mentioned before, uh, the community composting that, uh, and uh, local currency uh, that we are we are uh, we we are, we have to assess. We are assessing assessment and doing the assessment in in Madrid. And uh, I'm gonna share because uh, let me check what happened with this. What we this this question? I mean, uh, this experience uh, is not uh, it's nothing uh, new. We already start thinking about this. Uh, this uh, the relationship between local currencies and and uh, other economies and uh, complementary currencies. In uh, in Urbinat, we already started to think about this uh, with some seminars, some some questions raised about uh, this opportunity, and I think this webinar is also an opportunity to discuss uh, if local currencies uh, are an optimal tool to inclusive MBS implementation. So this is one of the questions that is going to guide my uh, my a little bit my my, my presentation uh, of this uh, La Mola uh, that, that I will present uh, today, and I will explain to you a little bit later. But everything started. As uh, some of the the creative issues and innovation starts because of an emer emergency, and uh, I want to take you for take you from Brazil to Madrid right now to the city of Madrid where we had uh, already a big problem with the waste with the with the waste in the in the city with the incineration of the waste because uh, in uh, in uh, 2015 we already burned a lot of uh, tons of. Uh, waste and uh and in, in, in among all these ways we have a lot of uh, organic organic waste incinerated uh, 58 percent of the of the waste in the madrid city was uh, incinerated with the rest uh, of the of the waste of the solid waste and plastic and everything and we really had a problem of uh, pollution and uh, we are at the same time uh, as you may understand you may know we were uh, burning uh, some richness we are burning uh, organic uh, waste that we could be used as a fertilizer so we have in this uh, in this uh, context in madrid with this uh, problem and uh, we found at that, that time uh, also the legislation of european uh, europe europe telling us to the different countries to all, all of us that we need to reduce the waste uh, not only because of a uh, european union regulation but also because of the life on earth is in danger so and then in this with this contest we have a kind of platform uh, platform uh, organizations that started together to cooperate and created uh, uh, Madrid Agroecológico one of the platforms that you can see the, the logos there along with uh, economías bioregionales uh, economías bioregionales that Franco is uh, and Monica are, are working on it and uh, form part of this uh, Translate Houses project and uh, they also created, a, 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 they were uh, along with AUPA, which is an uh, association of uh, agroecologists, um, uh, uh, farmers. And uh, they created also, they worked together in Coopera and Compost, a cooperation and compost. They all created a project, a pilot project called Madrid Agrocomposta. That uh, Madrid Agrocomposta was uh, a pilot project that uh, started in Madrid in uh, 2016. Uh, where we have uh, a government that very open wide to innovation and to all these kind of uh, subjects with uh, related to the eco-social transition. Now we have to take this into account because we are talking also about the governance and and this uh, and this all these uh, dimensions in, in in our project and uh, and as far as uh, economies. So they started to include in this uh, scenario. They starting to include this process of gathering. Uh, the organic waste from different places, from uh, the cafeterias of the schools, from the food markets, and uh, from different from different households that uh, belong to to the schools, also to the association of the schools. So in this project, we already have uh, different actors, different actors related to the city, different actors related to Madrid, to the Madrid city. We have four schools uh, working together in this project. We have uh, three urban community gardens. That uh, that they started in that period in in uh, in Spain in Madrid, and uh, two municipal food markets. All these actors were uh, participating in this Madrid Agrocomposta, uh, and starting a community learning process, uh, and also al along along the project uh, with a community uh, participatory action research process. 
because uh, we learn a lot from this process uh, uh, and we are learning a lot uh, still with the assessment of this process. They, uh, they started this uh, learning process of how, what, what kind of materials could be composed, uh, what kind of materials are not available for composting and, and uh, how to be more efficient with this, uh, compose, with this separation of the, of, the, of the waste, of the frag organic frag uh, uh, fragment. We have uh, some, uh, I have brought you here some pictures of the, of the actors uh, participating. This is one of the gardens uh, in, the, in the center of Madrid, in um, Madrid, uh, in the middle of the city element, and, uh, and there are three of us, three, three gardens. This is one of the, the kind of uh, the schools and the association of parents that belong to the school. And there's, that's Angel, one of the com composters, one of the people trained to, to compose directly in the school. And uh, you will see it uh, along this uh, Translate Houses project because it's going to be part of the assessment case to, to keep on talking to him. This is this uh, along this month we created a, also it was a company that by uh, by different uh, trainings uh, in different schools uh, did trainings about composting with the kids we we were uh, they were also uh, involving a lot of students more than one hundred and eighty students and twelve teachers participated in the project in the last three uh, academic years uh, the evaluation was excellent it was a syn synergic process because uh, all the, the, the professors and the, and the students were involved in chemical issues about uh, biological subjects and they learned how to compose people from uh, kids from seven to ten uh, they come they, they they started to know about composting about bacteria about arthropods and everything so we continue we, we they were working with uh learning with this uh, food markets they were involved on this uh, separation and you can see some pictures of the people involved and where well, it was kind of a matter living lab because they all started to learn uh, and they were just classifying uh, and uh, marking uh, with which uh, school were doing things correctly, properly, etc. Et so so it, it was like a mother living lab or kind of uh, living lab knowledge. This process also, this Madrid Arco Composta also uh, includes something that it, it is very interesting. Yeah, the, the, from the point of view of, of inclusiveness, uh, because uh, we have two organizations, two organizations, social organizations, El Olivar y Fundación San Martín de Porres, that work, they work with the uh, vulnerable collectives, and they were involved in the collection of the organic waste from different places. They, uh, and you have also a picture here of uh, Mohammed and Karim, two, uh, two uh, young men that are working uh, and working in the process. Of uh, of collecting this uh, uh, this uh, organic waste, they were also collecting uh, oil oil waste uh, oil waste, but they have the permissions to to start collecting the organic waste, and uh, so so from the perspective of uh, inclusion of vulnerable collectives is interesting about the job creation. So uh, of, of, with this kind of experience can could uh, contain, in fact, this uh, all this uh, organic food organic waste was collected and uh, brought it. Uh, to the different uh, four uh, urban uh, from four gardens also that they were close to Madrid. They were uh, not more than three, three, 30 kilometers from Madrid. So this all these compost, apart from the, the school that you have seen in the picture, they were, uh, they were doing a process of agro-composting, which is a compost process made by a farmer, by something which is also working with a, with a garden. So it is very interesting because we're trying, they trying, they were trying also, to keep the organic waste close to the place where they produce it, and they they uh, create the this fertilizer, this composting very close for the place where they gather. Uh, so so no more than thirty five kilometers from from the place that that we, the waste was produced. It's a bio bio region where we're talking about, and, and this is quite interesting. Another uh, outcome of this experience is the, the that the agro composters involved in the in the process. They increase their the income, the salary. Uh, apart from the from the they they are, the process of selling uh, food or uh, they they have an income of uh, one hundred and fifty euros uh, per ton per ton uh, because they were saving this uh, waste management uh, from the community hall from the municipality. So they receive uh, an uh, increase in the salary. And apart from this, uh, also increase uh, with the salary with this uh, 150 euros per uh, per ton, they also have um, a savings savings from uh, from buying fertilizers. 
is in fact is something that we have to take into into account. They they were uh, producing their own fertilizer with decompose, so we, they they were saving to buy something uh, which is synthetic. This uh, coming from from sometimes from the from the fossil fuels, etc. So they were producing a very good quality of fertilizers and uh, and saving money uh, that added to this uh, five hundred euros, five hundred fifty euros. So with this process. Uh, they started something that we are starting to close the loop. We are we they starting to to they, we are we were starting to to think about economy, and uh, and the, at that time they created something which is called we were called vale verdura, uh, that it was like a it was a vegetable voucher. It was a voucher that was created to to just to dynamize the organic separation. They created this uh, coupon, this voucher, in order to. Um, make the people, the people who participate in the process, the families participating in the process, they receive this uh, uh, voucher and they could buy vegetables from this uh, agriculture, from these uh, farmers and agricultures. So we are closing a loop because they were uh, giving the organic waste to these uh, agro-composters. And with this, uh, with this waste, they were receiving a vegetable voucher. And with this voucher, they could buy uh, they could buy a food to for uh, to them in the different markets, as you can see in the picture. So we are closing this loop, this economical loop with the uh, with the uh, with the uh, with organic uh, waste. And uh, but uh, the interesting thing, we were starting thinking about the uh, economy, economy and and uh, economics. And apart from this, we were, as you can see in the project, even creating a lot of a lot of intellectual outputs with this project, a lot of uh, learning uh, on the process. They were created a prototype of a community uh, living lab because they were sharing and learning a lot about uh, composting, about community composting. And also they created uh, one of the EBR, created one of the big uh, uh, tools that is called Symbio in order to uh, to make some planning uh, from composting. But uh, what is uh, what some results of this uh, Madrid Agro Composta were that the high quality compost uh, created the community dynamization, increasing citizen participation, the job creating from vulnerable groups, um, healthy and sustainable food were consumed, and great impact in the media because they, they were also appear. That's uh, you can see Monica, Monica Quente from uh, AVR, uh, participating in, the, in one of the TED talks in Madrid about the, this process. And more than 200 uh, tons per year were uh, reduced in Madrid. Uh, so we have a reduced reduction of uh, carbon footprint in, in the city. But the, the good thing, I mean, another another step uh, ahead was so when the people from the uh, the neighborhood Hortaleza, which is part of your, your assessment place, our assessment case uh, right now, took a step forward and uh, they go beyond uh, the this Valle Verdura, this uh, voucher, and and they created uh, something a community a local currency, a social currency called La Mola. This uh, Mola, uh, Mola, I have to make a remark here, uh, in, uh, Mola is uh, organic waste uh, uh, liberated for being uh, incinerated, for being uh, burned, but also Mola in, in Spanish is mean, it means cool, uh, in Portuguese, fish, una cosa fish, uh, something that Mola. And uh, this is why, why we have seen, we are going to see some, some some uh, games uh, later, some world games uh, and, and, and ahead. Some uh, organic material released from being incinerated that they created in September of, uh, in, uh, of 2017. The promoters were three neighbors associations, four uh, associations of parents uh, at the school uh, and the vegetable gardens and the five stores and the 15, uh, 15th of May assembly. Uh, La, Mo La Mola was... Uh, a currency created in the neighborhood, just uh, working in the neighborhood, and uh, it was uh, decided by the group to to cost uh, to to have um, uh, to inspire into the cost of management of the management of one ton of organic waste uh, for the city hall, uh, which is uh, two hundred and fifty euros per ton, and uh, they created this uh, zero point twenty five uh, molas per kilogram of uh, of uh, organic waste separated. And in this uh, in this uh, a local currency, they they we we had we already had and and they had the uh, thirty six participant local stores uh, in the neighborhood that they were beyond the vegetable food they were beyond they we we they created uh, some as you can see some photograph uh, store 
they have uh, different actors in, involved. They had uh, they had 185 registered users in the local currency, and uh, in some points in the in the in the experience, uh, they uh, they issues issued uh, more than 8,000 molas. I mean, uh, uh, they, in the process of these years, they they, they arrive, they, they get the 8,000 molas. Now they are a little bit slower, but uh, you have uh, something something that, uh, just to bring some some of the dynamization they had. All the process of uh, communicate, all the, the the process they had in the in the social networks offering products and in uh, in Mola, and uh, as you can see, with this uh, with this uh, currency, they 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 close more more uh, circles. Uh, not only the, the the vegetable, not only the organic waste, but they created a social and community develop uh, with an inclusive uh, MVS in the in the neighborhood. You can see some. Some of the results also, and you can see some images where the empowered citizens and uh, and they were they were involved in uh, something that we that it could be uh, uh, expressed uh, like a co-management of the waste. And you can see there are some some expression that I was telling before. Mola mazo gestionar residuos orgánicos en el barrio. It's very cool to manage organic waste in the hood. So the people were empowered by this um, also this uh, this uh, reinforcement uh, as far as uh, agents of a change uh, in their own uh, in their own situation like here you you can have more more expressions and more uh, images of the of the project and uh, of the experience because they they had different uh, moments uh, along the year where they just gather and share together uh, the, the, the 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 process of composting also the the, the compost itself they they share the compost uh, at the end and here i brought also for you to understand a little bit uh, which is the process of uh, of the people? Something that I already talk. The people, the, the neighbors, uh, the neighbors brought the organic waste to some of the agents, uh, like uh, Angel, in a compost uh, nucleus, in a compost core. They give the, the they give their their organic waste, and they and they receive uh, molas. And the molas, the users of the mola, can buy in the shops, etc. And they are all the time operating. They were operating in a platform called. Uh, an electronic wallet called ClickCoin, and uh, and you and they already they don't have to have the molas in paper, but they have already this uh, application in the mobile phone to work uh, with and uh, to to register all the transactions. So so also they had they have a mass impact in the in the media uh, with uh, appearing in the radio in the national radio or in different uh, local newspapers. So we have uh, from this uh, case. Uh, that we are already assessment as uh, doing the assessment in in translation uh, in, in in translate houses we have that uh, the organic waste was uh, was uh, valued again the organic waste uh, we, we found something uh, some new new value to this or this something that we are we're not calling them already waste uh, we just call it an organic fraction of the of the, of the uh, sometimes uh, we we don't like to call it waste right now in spanish and uh, we need we are we have something uh, a very good tool to reduce the carbon footprint and closing the cycles. Uh, is contributing to the to value of uh, through contributing to the to the creation of social capital, uh, facilitating just changes. It's a tool for environmental education. It's strengthening the community. We have learnings from an environmental point of view, like uh, this uh, co-creation uh, process uh, to to doing. The compost process that uh, it, it is also belong to us. The valoriza valorization of organic matter, reduction of uh, greenhouses effects, uh, and etc. is an uh, important tool for boosting the local community. As we can see, people gather around the, the coin and the and this process to to join and and to make networks and and, and also also creating opportunities of uh, work for vulnerable collectives. We are. Creating possibilities for local economic dynamism, a different uh, local scale economies. So we're talking about transformative economies, including including also these a lot of debates about the hegemonic uh, economic system. So this is one of the one of the uh, outputs of uh, using a, a community currencies in in any situation is that people start thinking about what is economy and what is the money and what is uh, how how this is working uh, in a in a global scale. So it's an important tool to educate us uh, in economy and uh, creating of uh, innovation as far as new jobs creation. So some questions are raised here, just uh, just to, to finish my, my presentation. 
uh, that <clears throat> we are analyzing uh, this uh, experience uh, inside the circular economy approach uh, that is aligned with the nature-based solution as a nature-based solution. Uh, we have uh, a lot of challenges ahead in order to, to use the, this uh, community currencies uh, linked to the composting because uh, we need to we need to involve some of the weaknesses of this uh, this uh, this experience was uh, that uh, the city hall the municipality didn't involve in the with this uh, mola with this uh, it, it was just uh, because it will have been more uh, uh, escalate impact or impact if the city hall will have been included in the, and used this currency for taxes or for the bus tickets etc so this is a challenge to make them know mm -hmm. and also to include more population in the composting and uh, we need to keep on creating uh, implement, but keep on creating participation tools uh, for create co-creation and co-management of the common goods. And uh, we consider this uh, with this synergetic satisfactions. We consider that this um, this uh, experience or even uh, this um, situation of uh, including uh, social tools could be a very very add value to this uh, objective that uh, is to be to have NVAs inclusive. So this is uh, everything now, just uh, to continue the debate. Uh, thanks, obrigado, gracias, merci. And we uh, we will continue the debate. Uh, so if you have any questions, we could uh, discuss it later. Thank you very much.